Hey, green thumbs. Today, we're diving into the world of electroculture gardening magic, a revolutionary way to supercharge your harvests. Follow these steps to electrify your garden and watch your plants thrive. Step one, understanding electroculture basics. Electroculture involves using gentle electrical currents to stimulate plant growth. Think of it as a natural energy boost for your garden. Tip. Start small and gradually increase the intensity of electrical stimulation as your plants adapt. Step two, gathering materials. For a simple start, you'll need copper grounding rods, wires, and a solar powered battery. Tip, ensure the copper rods are high quality to avoid corrosion, promoting a longer lasting electric charge. Step three, placing copper grounding rods. Drive the copper rods into the soil strategically around your garden. These rods act as electrical stimulators for plant roots. Tip, space the rods evenly and avoid placing them too close to sensitive plants. Step four, creating a low voltage circuit. Connect the copper rods with wires to form a low voltage circuit. Use a solar powered battery to generate a sustainable electric charge. Tip, keep the wiring neat and above the soil to prevent damage and tripping hazards. Step five, observing and adjusting. Observe your plants for any signs of stress or overstimulation. Adjust the voltage accordingly. Tip, start with a low voltage and gradually increase it over time to allow your plants to acclimate. Step six, documenting progress. Document the growth of your plants with photos or a garden journal. Track changes in size, yield, and overall health. Tip. Share your journey online to connect with other gardeners and gather insights. Common fakes. Question one, my plants seem stressed after applying electroculture. What should I do? Solution, reduce the voltage and give your plants time to adapt. Monitor for improvements. Question two, can I use any type of copper rod? Answer, choose high quality, pure copper rods to avoid corrosion and ensure effective electrical conductivity. Question three, I'm not seeing results. What might be wrong? Solution, double check your wiring and connections. Ensure the solar powered battery is functioning correctly. Conclusion, congratulations. You've embarked on the electrifying journey of electroculture gardening. Stay connected with nature, experiment and share your success stories. Don't forget to subscribe for more gardening magic. Happy harvesting, and may your garden thrive with electrifying energy.